Hello gang, welcome back to Boston Warriors with me, Lost Benji FM. Thank you so much for the support and the love on yesterday's video. But let's get back to business. It's the FA Cup third round. It's Boston versus Norwich. <laughs> folks in the last episode then we touched a very brief amount on what we've done since we last met so let's go through it and uh, discuss how we are found ourselves in third position level on points with Luton and Peterborough and you can see then that December was very 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 kind to me uh, after the win against Lincoln that 4-3 victory a 3-2 win over Exeter and then after the defeat to QPR a run of four games one in the Czechoslovakia trophy but three back-to-back -back leagues uh, league wins against the likes of Luton as well which you've seen from the league table is very very pivotal uh, and then a final defeat to Blackpool because of of course, we've run out of steam a little bit, and that might be a problem going into today's game as well. And that was on the 30th, we play on the 1st, so not a lot of recovery time, so our squad will not be at its strongest for the game against Gillingham. Hopefully, though, uh, after a week's rest, or most, or five days rest, Norwich in the FA Cup third round should be a cracker. So let's join you for it then. Um, let's go to Gillingham first, and uh, look forward to it. But as I say, third in the league table, looking very good. Biggery Mana is Biggery Monster, we should call him, because he's fantastic. So good. Having the best season of his career, in my opinion, with me right now, and uh, yeah, really enjoying his contribution. He's playing very well. Now then, the issues that we have for this game is that fitness-wise, a lot of our first team players, the likes of Bikini Manor, Alab Yusu struggling as well, Connor Kirby in there, Rob France, none of which are really fit enough to play this game. So you can see quite a change in personnel. Uh, Burton will be in goal. Oliver, who again, not really fit to play, but slightly fitter than Rob France, is going to be at right back. You might see them to switch over at some point in the game. Uh, Nelson and Akuma at the back with Cantrell out on the left-hand side. Dronfield and Pozzo next to him with Dobra. Lots of people calling for it. Dobra in behind Marky Fletcher. McManaman's going to be on the right-hand side. Leary comes in on the left again. Will Ferry slightly injured for this one as well. But everyone should be fit for Norwich, I think. But of course, winning this league game is going to be pivotal. I'll say third in the league table, looking very good. AFC Wilden have, have created a little bit of a distance between ourselves and them. There's seven points to the gap now. And Gillingham then, in seventh position, will be looking to capitalise on anything we don't do. Beat us today, and there could be even more teams on 45 points. It could get very, very tasty indeed. The advantage, of course, is that they played a couple of days ago as well. Uh, let's, let's find this there. A 1-0 win over Bradford, but their boys are going to be quite tired too. So, it's basically a, a battle of tired teams today. Lovely bit of alliteration there, by the way. I mean, shit. <laughs> and of course, we have entered a transfer window. So, whether we bring a couple of players in, whether that be loan players, a couple of boys on free transfers, another Shinji Kagawa, uh, you'll have to wait and see. I noticed there, though, by the way, Adam Deakin, uh, winning player of the month, a player that we don't have on loan from Norwich, incidentally. Uh, Marky Fletcher came second, Alabusu third, and then a uh, young, young player, Marky Fletcher, in at second again, looking rather good. See, so, yeah, the team is a little bit worse for where as we go into this game away from home we've got to travel all the way to Gillingham then all the way to Norwich um, to South Journeys which isn't too bad I guess train wise I'm just thinking about the logistics it's not unbearable a couple of changes around the Peterborough area I think but it should be okay it is nice though I've just done the registration there you get 99 spots 99 it's too many spots no wonder I just start signing players for no reason at all a few of you might be interested in the, uh, the old squad dynamics actually as it happens and here's the hierarchy then uh, there's me lots of people support me Kagawa Dobra and McManaman don't support me. Prima donnas, that's why, viewers. Uh, Alabusu, Burton and Fletcher, they're the team leaders within this squad, and I quite like that. They definitely deserve to be there. Burton's the interesting one, really. Goalkeeper, that doesn't really get enough credit for me uh, in goal. But yeah, this year he's having a trickier time, it must be said. Although we're third in the competition, our clean sheet's not quite as regular. So um, let's see, then gilling them away, let's do it. Now, in the, in the first fixture of the season, they beat us. So... We've got it all to do here, viewers. And of course, keep an eye on Pozzo, who's going to have to come out at some point, as is Oliver. Fitness-wise, both boys are struggling. I'm not going to make them play the whole match, I don't think. Uh, we owe Gillingham after last time. Let's remember that and enjoy it, and uh, hopefully get the result required. I'm going to very briefly, actually, look at their team. Yeah, a few of their boys as well, struggling for a bit of fitness. Both sides struggling, so it should be quite an even game. And Gillingham, based on the league table, are a decent side for us to go away from home and get something from them with a rotated side, you'd call it. I wouldn't say it's that much weaker, but it's certainly rotated and not our strongest 11. Um, we'll see. I mean, they've, they've kicked it forward there towards Atherton. And uh, Leary's gone out on that left-hand side, of course. Not a natural out there. Usually plays through the middle. So I'd be curious to see how he gets on. Put a little bit of pressure on there, but didn't quite get the ball. And now the Gillingham have got a chance to break forward. Ball over towards Oliver, who's headed down to Dronfield was good. And calmness in possession. Now, McManaman on that side, of course, playing ahead of Alabiusu, who really wasn't fit enough to play this one, 
will we expect a performance out of him? Every time he's played, he's done wonders. As he races forward, finds Mikey Fletcher. Great first touch, shot on goal, and Ziggah with the save. I imagine he's uh, he's friends with Ziggah Ziganar. They're all they're all good mates. The Spice Girl reunion tour. It's ha that's actually happening, isn't it? I wasn't invited to go down. Um, I thought me and Mel C had a, a, a sort of connection, but clearly I was wrong. And the song Two Become One was about was about um, me and her. So I say all this, viewers. I was a Jerry Halliwell person when I was younger. First album I ever bought was the Spice Girls. I don't know why we're talking about them, to be honest. Anyway, Gillingham with a chance. Out on that side, Coxie. I know it's probably just Cox with the ball in and uh, Atherton with the header over. But yeah, Jerry Halliwell. And if you were of that era, you know exactly why. I won't say why. I was, I was about seven. So, uh, Pozzo, free kick. It's good. It's very good. It's a goal. Ike Pozzo, not a, not a prolific goal scorer. Second of the season with it, though, and uh, gives us the 1-0 lead. It's, it's hammering it down with rain here, you can see. But the ball into the back of the net. Lovely free kick from Pozzo. That quality he brings as a Manchester City youth player. Um, sh shining three right there. Technique to be proud of. Now, question marks over Oliver and McManaman, I think both of which are going to have to step out. Um, I, I'm going to do it now, which might be a gamble. I'm happy with the performance, don't let me down. I said I was going to do it now. I'm going to give it like another 10 minutes, get them down to about 60% each, and then make the changes. The problem is, of course, Rob France is going to come on, um, not really fit anyway, on 75%, so that's not ideal. Uh, and on the right as well, Alabusu, very similar, in fact, the exact situation. Maybe Gribbon should be called upon instead, as, uh, yeah, they are starting to feel tighter and tighter, as Dobra picks up a knock as well. We'll save Gribbon for now then, but Alabusu is going to come on that side, and, uh, yeah, Rob France at right back. The right side is getting a little bit of a revamp, will hopefully be able to see it through. Dobro not having his best game, but he is uh, fitness-wise improving a little bit, so that's not too bad. And Marky Fletcher up front, we're seeing very little from. So if they can start making an impact. 20 minutes to go, though, and a corner kick. Pozzo to put it in and does, and Fletcher's there. And it's a good save, to be fair. And we're having 60% possession. 60 is the magic number, really. Out of all our games this year, our average possession in games is 60%. As uh, Rob France, they're just dancing around. Burton to Akuma. I'm a little bit concerned. One bad touch here, and we are in problematic circumstances although we're not in the Vanarama National North anymore so I shouldn't expect that quite so often we're in League One now where mistakes rarely happen Alabusu racing forward finds Leary on that side he's got Marky Fletcher in the middle can he find him he can oh yes da -da -da, da -da -da. The Marky Fletcher, da 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 Fletcher, boom, lovely goal from Marky Fletcher. Alabusi makes it happen, lovely ball, lovely switch to Liri on that side. Again, not usually a left-sided player, but finds his striking partner, although they never played together. And Marky Fletcher from close range finishes it off. Twenty minutes to go, Boston two, Gillingham nil. Free kick, Pozzo. About ten minutes to go, not far away. Fitness-wise, I think we've managed this quite well. Pozzo again with the ball in. It's launched clear. France with a lovely first touch, you've got to say. And now uh, Cantrell finds Pozzo again. A third goal here. I mean, we'll probably see it. You'd think at Tuna, we've looked pretty comfortable as he is. But um, Dobra now on the ball. We've seen little from him. Gets the ball back, though. Goes, oh, takes on two. It's a lovely bit of work from Dobra, but he didn't apply the finish. Dobra did him. He did there, didn't he? Corner played in there. I'm, not, I'm expecting nothing. I mean, I've learnt my lesson from last year's game. All right, we've come out of this game pretty unscathed, but that should be that. That is it. Cantrell throws it in but it's Gillingham nil Boston 2 massive win for a side in 7th position to bounce back after a recent defeat as well really really impressive proud of that performance we lost the home game but we win the away one and now Norwich City away at Carrow Road in the uh, FA Cup third round should be a big game I think they're championship though I don't think they're Premier League I know they were recently promoted in real life but no actually having a very poor time of it well this could be the sort of game Norwich really aren't looking forward to might rest a few players as well and this might just be a Millwall have won one game in 26 Oh dear. I mean, we don't play them, but I kind of wish we did. Oh, Bristol. So I just checked the Premier League. Bristol are having a Bristol City, sorry, having a very similar situation. Eight points, one win from 21. Not ideal. And Chelsea are ninth. So something to enjoy. All right, well, praise Pozzo's performance. Good job for him. And a week's time. Uh, lots of rest in there as well because we've had quite a lot of games in short, uh, short succession. So um, here we are. The Norwich coming up should be an interesting game. And Dobra has dropped his lack of football complaint because he's playing football, and that's how that works. Dum -ba -dum -bum -ba -da -dum. Hello, viewers. Welcome back. Just realised that Seddon has had it. He's gone back to Dundee. I thought we had him on loan for the season. We only had him to the January. Do I go and get him back? What a disaster, viewers. I mean, they don't really want him. He is transfer listed. 
I guess we should just try and buy him, right? Sure, that's what we'll do. Anyway, team-wise, Cantrell will play at left-back. Not a problem. Mr. Consistent over there. Uh, Burton then will be in goal. France, Thompson, Raggett and Cantrell at the back. Raggett, of course, playing against Norwich, who he's previously played for. Uh, Bigley Manor and Dronfield in the centre. Ferry one side, Alibu to the other, and Dobra in behind Marky Fletcher. He's got 18 goals this season. What a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. Let's do it again. Um, there's a little bit of me that wants to play Gribbin ahead of Dobra in this one, because Dobra, in recent games, has been a little bit hit and miss. Last game wasn't particularly good at all. So, I'm going to risk it and then obviously make the change if he doesn't play so well. Uh, Phil for Pozzo, who scored a lovely free kick and now has dropped down to the bench. Here we go then. I'm, I'm interested to see Norwich's team, to be honest, because, of course, they're a championship side. Any players currently there that are with them in real life? The only one I can notice off the bat is Lettner or Leitner. Um, Adam Ida as well is one of the younger players. He's there too. But mostly, it's a completely new side. So if you're a Norwich fan... You don't care about this team, really, do you? Let's face it. Uh, they've also got Mbemba at the back and uh, Levy Benson in goal, who looks very good as well. He's, a, he's like a Norwich player too. I mean... Yeah, keep him scouted. We might be able to loan him one day. You never know. Uh, Marky Fletcher, though, will surely demolish these two at the back. All right, then. Here we go. Should be tough. They're having a difficult old season, though. It'll be interesting to know how much rotation they've put into their side. In fact, I might just look that up very briefly. Hang on a moment. So the side, they just they just beat Leeds, which is a bit worrying. Um, I'm looking at the names there. It's actually very similar to the side they're putting out. So not a weakened side, necessarily. That makes me less confident. And I've just seen that they've beaten Leeds. I, ugh. I was hoping this would be easy. And the worst part of all of this, of course, we wear an, an orangey kit. And because Norwich wear yellow and they're the home side, we have to wear purple. Which I'm not against. I'm just... It's not, what, it's not what we wanted, really. But here we go, in the purple kit. Raggett doing throw-ins now on that side, is he? Bigley Manor finds Dronfield. Um, I, th I think Dronfield, by the way, was released by Norwich, and we picked him up from then, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty confident that's what happened. And uh, so let's see if he can put in a performance. I'm sure I want to. I think it's his former club. But he's on the ball now. What can he do with it? Goes back to Thompson. Very patient play from us uh, early on. It'd be interesting to see if we can dominate possession against the championship side. Uh, Dronfield and Bigley Manor controlling things very comfortably. And Norwich can't get near us. Look at knocking it round very patiently but very very like, effectively as well Norwich cannot get near us Thompson now where are we going what's happened hang on a second here let's not mess this up rag it now oh good god what was I saying McNeil's in it's a disaster do you know what I did there viewers I bigged it up um, I bigly mannered it up for quite some time and Dwight, Nick, uh, Dwight McNeil has gone through. It looked quite calm until this moment when I thought, hang on, what's going on here? Sean Raggett there he he's, didn't get a shout didn't get a man on did he and through they go and goal's gone in and that's annoying me because in real life, Norwich or the away fans do not sit behind the goal. Norwich fans will concur. Or if you've been to Norwich as an away fan, you know you would not sat behind the goal. Right then. Well, we're 1 0 down, which seems unjust. We seem like we're actually, again, controlling the game. If this pattern continues of us keeping the ball really sensibly and then eventually giving it away, I will not be on board with that. France, though, racing forward. Can he get a ball into the centre? He's been caught on the ball and now Norwich get a chance to break. Well, isn't this becoming a theme? They're disinterested after their motivational speech. Well, they've gone close to scoring. I'm going to demand a bit more. It's a free kick. Big Green Man is on it. He's gone for it. It's, it's just over. Decent attempt, though. We don't look completely outmatched. I mean, Thompson's having a poor game. Everyone else is doing all right. As um, that header clear, we've got to try and close this down a little bit quicker. We're letting them have too much time on the ball as a side, a side with lots of quality. Not necessarily under the best of seasons, but you can't deny the quality in their side. McNeil, we're getting pulled pillar to post here. And uh, Led puts a ball in. Bigley Miner's going to get there. But again, he's panicked. Oh, there's panic stations all over the shop. They're going to put a ball in the centre again, I assume. It does go in. Are we there? Burton barely clears it. McNeil's there now. He's hit the post. It's cleared eventually and panic all over the all over the place. I was going to say shop, but we don't own a shop. So it's 1 0 Norwich, and it's been quite even, I would say. <laughs> that's what, if it was BBC Text Commentary, that's what I'd want them to write. It's not, it's not happening. 47 minutes gone, though, and uh, Norwich lead. The question is, do we have to make a change here somewhere? I'm going to say unlucky, boys. I don't want to completely destroy morale. Um, I do think maybe having two strikers will change this a little bit. I don't know why I think that, but I think that. Our wide players are having little to no impact. Alabuse is on a booking as well. I'm going to bring Pozzo on, and I'm going to bring hmm, Leary on. Ferry's going to get dropped, and I'm going to go to a diamond. A lot, someone said, actually, it's funny I do this now, because someone said in a recent comment section, they went, I, I mean, I'm enjoying this series, Ben, but when are we going to go to the patented diamond? I'm like, yes, good point. So here it is. We're going to try it now. System-wise, we play quite narrow anyway, so having to change it from a wide system to a, to a more narrow system, we don't have to do too much. It's a corner, though, to Norwich, played in towards that back post. Are we there? I think we've cleared it off the line, and we've won a free kick. We've gone positive. I might even just go for them. They're a team that are bereft of confidence. They're having a pathetic season, and we're not. We're having a good season, so let's see if we can actually do something with it. 
Not much time to go. Callum Gribbins coming on. I just think this game is essentially there for the taking viewers and we're not trying to take it well enough. I've made all three changes now. It's another corner to Norwich. 20 to go and we've given away a penalty because if in doubt, gift them a goal. Why not? Number 19 for Norwich is going to step up. 20 minutes to go. Rui Perez with it and he scores and well... I think if they were doing well this year, I'd have come up and set up a bit more counter-attacking, a bit more defensively. But because they're having a poor season, I thought we could get at them. I was wrong, viewers. That's that's the conclusion. It's another corner. Right, are we just bad at defending corners? Or we just, or do we just give loads away? I mean, right, it's not counted. And the, the mechanics of the crossbar make me very angry. We're not going to do it today, though. Five bookings we've picked up. I mean, we're contributing, contributing our fair share of yellow to this proceedings. Maybe we should have used the more defensive 4 3 3, put Pozzo in there. Yeah, this is great. This is great analysis, Ben, after your 2 0 down. Anyway, we might get a chance. Marky Fletcher finds Bigger Lee Manor. And um, if, we can, if we can end the episode with a goal against the Championship side, that would make me happy. Leary's on it now. I think that was a cross rather than a shot. Ball played in, though. Cleared away. Is Rob France going to get there? Please get there. He finds Bigger Lee Manor. Put out to this left hand side. Here we go. Cantrell. Whip one in for Marky Fletcher. He wants it. He wants the goal. We're just faffing about. Do something with it. This is very this is very pretty. I was loving our possession stat earlier. Now I'm fuming. Marky Fletcher's hit the bar. He's banged it in. Game on. Game on. To Marky Fletcher. Right, thank goodness for that. It's taken about three years for us to actually have a shot rather than pass it around pathetically and doing nothing with it. Great ball first time, by the way. Fletcher. Is that a save onto the bar from Benson? If it was, that was spectacular. And we scored a goal. Right, can we get an equaliser? There's a highlight almost immediately after the goal. Oh, you are joking. Marky, Marky Fletcher. He's been sent off here. He's on a booking. He's closed down. To be fair to him, he's trying to win it back desperately. And he's failed. And he's off. There's not much to change there. I feel like that, our chances there might have... I mean, I haven't got a jingle for if that happens. Um, I guess... You're that's the best I've got, viewers. Um, oh. I mean, I'm personally not fired. But Marky Fletcher has been fired from this game. There's time up then. Norwich 2, Boston 1. That's not too bad a performance. Um, but this, this is one of the worst sides in the championship based on the league table. Uh, and it worries me a little bit that if we were to get promoted, this is what every week would be like. I'm not happy with performance out there. Um, they look fired up. I mean, they tried their best. And that then is going to bring us to the end uh, of this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, do drop a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. And we're love and with some care. I'll see you again very, very soon. Again, thank you for the support on yesterday's video. And I'll see you soon. We'll love with care again. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Look after yourselves. Just be careful. Not in a sinister way. I've not planned anything. I'm just saying just, you know, one day at a time and all that.